Hey there guys, it's Emily, and in honour of the fact that I am going to Disneyland slash Florida in 56 days, I thought I would try and narrow down my top 10 Disney films. Have you ever looked up the list of Disney films? I mean all Disney films because it is so long. But I managed to narrow it down to my top 10, and even though they're not in order, here we go. Disney! Number one, Tangled. Now you see, me and Rapunzel are actually really good friends because we both really like our long hair. However, mine so far is not magical. I'm so sorry. Personally, I love what they've done with the tail and I think I fell in love with the lantern moment. I'm not sure if there's anybody who didn't. Number two, The Jungle Book. Fun fact, this is the only Disney animation I owned as a child and I watched it religiously. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it recently because I don't own it on DVD, but you should all know that I spent many, many afternoons as a child trying to walk like Mowgli does when he's being an elephant. Number three, The Parent Trap. This film will go down in the history of the best films because I still do not understand how Lindsay Lohan and Lindsay Lohan played the main two characters who were touching each other and hanging out. My mind was blown the day that I learnt she did not have a twin sister. That aside, I still really love the movie because it made me really want a long lost twin sister for a long time. Number four, Mary Poppins. Now this film is already winning in every book ever because it contains Julie Andrews and I've never ever met anybody who does not love Julie Andrews and if I ever do, I feel like I might be really upset. So do not burst this bubble. I used to watch this every Christmas with my nan and for me it's like a really heartwarming tale. Number five, Mulan. Aside from Rapunzel, Mulan is my favourite Disney princess because she kicks ass and does literally what she wants and I'm down for that. You go girl. And not to degrade that in any fact, but the most important thing about this movie is that she has a freaking dragon and I just really want a Mushu. So when I go to Disney in 56 days, can somebody please remind me to get a Mushu one on there? Thanks. Number six, Pirates of the Caribbean. The amazing and wonderful Johnny Depp makes his films what they are, amazing. Plus, naturally, pirates. These films are the films that I will spend all day watching and convincing myself that I absolutely desperately need to be a pirate and I was born in the wrong era completely. And then I remember that I really am into the internet. So it doesn't work out so well. Number seven, The Princess Diaries. Who does not want to wake up one day and find out they are in fact a princess. Like hell yes, I'll rule your country. I am down for that. Thank you. I'll probably be vlogging the entire thing like, hey look guys, I'm in court. Cause that's me. But yes, yes please. Also, not to degrade her story in any way, but, but she has a cat. Number eight, National Treasure. Now some of you might think I'm joking, I am not joking, National Treasure has everything I could ever want in a movie. Also, it has a really nerdy guy who is absolutely adorable and says really great things, which is always good, but they steal the Declaration of Independence. Yeah! Let's not go and do that because someone might arrest me, you, everyone. I just have so much love for this film. Number nine, Alice in Wonderland. I'd like to be clear that I am talking about the Tim Burton version and not the animated version because the animated version has a Cheshire cat which frightened me to death as a kid and I still don't like it. It's creepy as fuck. It's grins horrible. Stop that cartoon cat. Please stop. It's just a creepy, creepy cat. No, thank you. However, the one in the Tim Burton is blue and somehow, less creepy. Alice herself has a great story and I have many times wished that I would be able to fall down a rabbit hole and find myself in Wonderland, but usually I just find dirt and people laughing at me. Number 10, High School Musical. You knew this was coming, guys. Hell yes, I am 18 years old. Hell no, I do not give a shit. I really, really love all three of these films. I have all the soundtracks on my phone, so if you ever see me listening to music, there's a good possibility it is in fact we're all in this together. It, it certainly could be. When I was 11, I had a Wildcats pencil case. I went to high school with a Wildcats pencil case and I thought I was hardcore. A quick honorable mention to Bridget to Terabithia because that film is the most depressing thing I have ever watched. And that's my list and that was really difficult. 
but less difficult for me than some other people, I'm sure. So what makes it into your top 10? Let me know down in the comments, or alternatively, make me a video and just send me a link on Twitter or somewhere, and I'll watch it and be like, yeah! If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see somewhere on my face, don't forget to hit subscribe. I will see you guys on Monday. Watch out!